Activate the Sade field. Activations of multi-dimensional engines. Launch communications probe. Power levels to maximum. Activate all dimensional levels of communication. Communication established. The voice you hear is known as Bob. 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 Ladies and gentlemen. We have reached our destination. This is the last slave planet in the galaxy. Under all agreement, 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 agreement. under all rights, 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 under galactic law, 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 we now proclaim this planet. Free, 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 free. The dissension of the true human consciousness has begun. Energizing Shambhala diamonds. The men, women, and children of this planet are now set free, free. free. Activated. You have already reached activate Shambhala Diamond. Critical mass, mass, mass. Integration onto microcosm expanding linear space. Prepare for landing. Prepare for landing. Prepare for landing. Well, hi everyone. Um, Bob, aka Paul, or is it Paul, aka Bob? God, we're getting that confused here at the uh, the technical side of the Dark City. We don't know our ass from our elbow today. But as you can hear, I am prepared with the great English solver of solutions. Of course, it's not really English. Of course, um, it's made in a foreign land, um, probably bagged in a foreign land and packaged in a foreign land and shipped. Excuse me, I have to use my new microphone properly. So yeah, T, the great English solver of problems. So this show, uh, this evening, um, there was supposed to be a few people joining us, um, which is a little bit odd. Maybe we are knocking on the door of a few things here. Um, who knows? We will uh, we'll find out as the evening progresses. So, uh, pretty much on my own, I think, and I'm going to get a few questions put to me, uh, I think, by our dawn, I'm not 100% certain, on what is Dark City, where we came from, and um, the so-called groups that have come along um, to support us in our action. Um, from the onset, roughly, um, from the onset. And where is Dark City going, and, uh, yeah, what it has become. So, the past, the present, and the future. So just to put a little cap in this, I hold no remorse or, or grievance against any of these individuals that um, I think had the greatest of intention when they actually spoke their words of action. Um, I think they had the, the intention of doing what they said. However, you know, things happen and uh, life changes. We may say, you know, simply, I'll meet you at six o'clock. Uh, we will do this at a certain time. And they do not do it. That's happened. It happens. Come on. It's happened to us all. You've got to be real about this. It has happened to us all. However, in this world that we have so-called found ourselves hmm, plunged into, I'll use the word plunged, because that's what I feel, the so-called truth movement. 
truth radio, truth groups. We are change, occupy. Uh, CMR, Revolution Radio, The Lottery, the BBC, ITV, BBC Radio Manchester, The Morning Programme, to name but just a few. He's one of the last people I kind of got involved with um, that kind of put this into my head. So I have to, I have to thank him for that. And um, that was commonly known as Don. He actually put this, well, hang on a minute. Members of your organisation are in the Green Party. That's right. People are members, members of our group, of our group, are, are members of the Green Party. I imagine there's members of the, the flying Muppets from outer space take over the Galactic Party as well. I imagine we've got a couple of Jedi Knights. In fact, I'm certain we've got a Jedi Knight or two. Uh, we've got Muslims. Okay, uh, we've got Muslims who are groups. Some people call themselves Christian. You see, our group is an action group. And it includes everyone who wants to join in. So what do we do? What do we do? Why did all these people suddenly turn up in my life? What did I do what was so spectacular? You know, perfect a, a free food system that potentially could put food on every man, woman and tables. Um, every family of every man, woman and tables home could be abundant with food. Surely. Surely all this hasn't happened because, you know, of a free food system. Surely. Surely we haven't got members of parliament, our local MP, too fearful to speak because he is in fear of his life. Surely. Surely when two individuals just walk in to see their local MP and they say to him, look, this is ex-councillor Nigel Rollins. He was on the council when the council actually agreed to give us these allotments back. We went in just... Uh, we never imagined that that MP would tell us at that time about the illegal tipping that had been going on. You know, I've looked at the spiritual realm and consciousness, messed around with it, had a play, done my own experiments, you know. And if there is anything, he reached out to us that day. His spirit reached across that table and he reached to me and Nigel because that MP doesn't want that to happen. And he felt powerless. Of course, yeah, yeah, I, I can hear it now. People, well, that's his job. <laughs> yeah. How many of you would continue with the struggle when they threaten to take away your family? They threaten to take away your children and your home? How many of you would you continue after it had happened? Ask yourself. Ask yourself if you want any part of this. And be sure. Because from my experience, once you begin, there's no turning back. There is no turning back. There is no yesterday. There is no tomorrow. Now that's where I'm at with it. But people have thrown rocks at this little city. A small group of self-empowered people that come together. Oh, yes, we've been told things. We've been told things. CMR radio coming in the disguise of another radio station with an extended account trying to make out why did they come here. Oh, yeah, we're going to come because of Rick Simpson. We're going to support Rick Simpson. My ass. Lying, cheating, thugs. Deceiving their viewers. We delivered them the truth. The real truth. How many people were listening? 27. And on the big night, they managed to reach them. And that's their maximum. 27. And they slag us off. We haven't got a strength. We, haven't, we, don't, we don't seek strength. We don't seek conflict. We don't seek tomorrow and to be stable for you to come along and so you can build up your own ego and your own fantasy of your little world where everything revolves around you. Where you stamp all over people. You tell them shit. Knowingly, you're never going to do it. Them are the people who pissed me off. Like I say, not the ones, not the ones who, who generally don't know. The ones who say to you, yeah, we'll come round on Wednesday at six o'clock and we'll all get together and we'll have a bash. And then they don't turn up. Yeah, okay, that's, that's fine. But when they repeatedly do it and then them sources are coming from a, the same place, I wouldn't think it'd be too wrong to start to get suspicious. 
Look at the evidence. Don't take my word for it. It was Bank Holiday, St. George's Day. We'd already given them and informed the so-called authority of our action. We give them prior notice of our intention to seize back. To seize back. Many of you might not learn that. We took it. We went and took it. We seized it back. Not a drop of blood. Not one angry shout. Not one weapon. Not one bullet fired. A bloodless revolution has begun. We started on a little tiny piece of land in Ashton Underline, right at the side of the M60 motorway, Junction 23, where they're lying, cheating, scheming money, back-breaking ideas that have leached on us for long enough came to the forefront. And we've got them, red-handed. Red-handed, hands in the till. No doubt anymore. They've lied and cheated and, and stolen. And we've got them. Yeah. We got home with potatoes and beans and carrots and sprouts. Oh, I must mention the, the ravenous Jerusalem artichoke. Oh, we're a danger to them. Oh, that's right. Oh, it's sensational. We will help you. We will come along and support your cause. Like lambs to the slaughter we wandered. A good strong body of men and women and children. Look at the pictures. Until we accepted help. We asked for help. And what did we get? Conspirators. Provocateurs. Individuals that will go into groups and try and tear them a heart from the heart within. Every single time. Did I say heart from the heart within? I meant apart. <laughs> tear them apart from the heart within. Watch them. Keep your eye on them. Don't get angry at them. Don't start throwing shite at them. We've seen a lot of these people. Now, another person I'm going to mention here, who out of all these lying, cheating, thieving scum, and ringing, ringing now, at Bob's backyard, get in here. I will answer any single questions ever anyone wants to ask regarding this. I will answer questions regarding the BBC. Are they coercively, and we are change, are they coercively worked on us? How CMR radio and critical, uh, uh, critical mass radio, excuse me, how they coerced us, lied and cheated. And I will stand before any single one of you lot and let's have the truth openly. Because lo and be told, everything I speak of today, I can back up with personal witness, documented evidence, video and audio recordings. Remember that, you lying bag of cheating scum. Remember it. Know it. Now, the number to dial, because they'll be in the UK, these people, they'll be in the UK. Is 0161 298 298. Let's find out. Let's find out what the truth movement's all about, brothers and sisters. Let's find out how many of you are prepared to accept a viable alternative. Or do you just want to sit around and suck Satan's cock until your days are done? Hmm. Oh, but I don't swallow. Yeah, you're sick. Know it. And heal yourselves in the moment. Don't look round for other people to be responsible. That's the mistake we made. We opened ourselves up. Asked for assistance. And the scum came. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're 30 strong. We'll come. We're 20 or 30 strong. We're a tiny group. None of us are working. All of us. Broken in some form or another. We've got no money and wealth. We put every bit bean we had together so we could feed them people. Because that's what we do. We break as bread. We share what we've got. That's what we do. No matter how tight it gets, that's what we do. We break as bread. We share our table. And yeah, they came. And they took. They took from the poorest the weakest from the disabled do you know what we did we rallied together 
we rallied together. Yeah, we took on the BBC. We took on the ITV. We took on the media corporations. We took on local government all the way right up to Westminster. Right the way. And I'm hoping that Nigel will join me tonight. Green Party member. Yeah, that's right, Dom. You dig down into the dirt. No, you didn't. No, you didn't, you lying piece of shit. You were shown it. Right in my home. And then made out on the internet you knew nothing about it. Provocateur! Provocateur! Then you go throwing rocks at this station. Then you go throwing rocks at members of this station and hiding behind Anon and the power of Dark City. We defend no one. No one. All are welcome in here. And I'll tell you how welcome you are. 20 past nine. Live show. Dark City Radio. On the 16th of April. Well, I can't answer that call. I don't know why. It's going to put me on hold. <laughs> so, uh, I can add that to the group. But it's not letting me at the moment, so I'll do that in a minute. So, 16th of April. Live show. Baba Bing. Ring in. Because for five minutes, mate, even you've got a chance. That's me being a man of my word. That's all you're going to get from now on. You get five minutes. No more running around with the fear bullshit. No more telling us we're going to do stuff and then not doing it. Because here on Dark City, we've got a crew of people that do change. We have took land. Check us out. Occupy. We're with you. We always have been. Anonymous. We're with you. And we always have been. Because there are some fucking movements here that I will be infiltrated. And they have been infiltrated. That's right. Just like we have at Dark City before now. <laughs> Let's pick a pack of dogs here and I'll sniff them out. Every time. Every time. So, where will we go with this dark city, this pissy little radio station that gets hardly any numbers, that nobody bothers with? That's crashing on the door of the media stream. They're knocking on our door now. Why would they bother? Oh, come and work with us. Come and work with this station. We need you. We, 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 we can get your numbers. We can get your numbers. Well, we sent our associates, we sent our friends, we sat them on your stream, and we had a look. And then we told you. We didn't lie. We told you. This is what's happening. This is real. And this is what's happening. Do you know what they did? They started to defend the lie. Oh, yeah. They started to defend it. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's about getting the truth out. No, it's not. It's not. It's not about getting the truth out. It's not about taking your twisted, fucked up consciousness and trying to manipulate other people to see it your fucking way. That's not what it's about. That's not freedom. That's manipulation through control. So let's have it. Let's have it out. The final solution. We are Change Manchester. Kill them all. CMR Radio. Rejected. Dark City Radio. We thank you so much. You know, Terry and Sarah, they both touched on that. We thank you so much. There is no animosity for you, lot. Without you, we wouldn't have done it. You created a device that will destroy you. We don't want it to destroy you. We don't. But we're going to put an end to your manipulative, lying, fucking, cheating ways. Because we do make it happen. We don't read any retribution. Do you get that? Do you get it? Do you? I wonder sometimes. You see, one who has actually seen retribution in the past for those that have done me wrong. 
Many would say rightfully so. I would say never. There is no justification. Abuse is abuse. Stop it with your good intention. Stop it with your lying, cheating, twisted ways. And lo and behold, stop coming to us here at this crew of Dark City and trying to get us to work with your cock-sucking media system. You sexualise children. Oh, but we've all got to have his things on YouTube. Suck, YouTube. Stick it where the sun don't shine. We're Dark City Radio. You can download everything from that site. Every single podcast. There's people that have worked their asses off to put that in place. Oh, but we've got to have it on YouTube. Why? Oh, all my friends are on YouTube. And I won't get no views. All right. Uh, at that point, you see, my consciousness gets a little bit... Hmm. That's a bit weird. You see, I thought it was about something else. I didn't think setting up an alternative was about supporting Google. I didn't. I never thought, you know, when I opened ourselves up to all these people, these activists and these movements, that they'd turn up and be totally and absolutely full of shit. You know, when it all boils down to it, all they did is create arguments with an excuse not to do anything. And I'll challenge all of you, every single one of you lot who've offered us assistance at Ashton Allotment Action and are at Dark City and then change your fucking mind in the last minute. I'll challenge all of you. The BBC, ITV, you're lying, thieving, fucked. We are Change Manchester, lying, cheating. What's the organisation? That They're all the same group. It's one group. There's about five or six people in it. About five or six fucking people in that group. They're who actually do somewhere. And at the end of the day, what do they do? Lie, cheat and steal and go on about fucking honourable things. Oh, we're going to be honourable. What do you mean? Stealing is honourable. Taking goods off someone else, you know, are not theirs. It's honourable. Coming and telling people you're going to assist them when they've asked you for your help and they're not fucking turning up. Is that honourable? Telling us you're an army and turning up with three? Is that honourable? I appreciate the fact that three turned up. But you know, I dump all that shit for one, one. One woman. One woman. And you know, you know, she's done more to try and organise stuff on what we asked for. All right? I'm not knocking all them people who've come up there and done this and done that. Don't get me wrong here. Don't start fucking twisting it, because I'm not. They're the fucking troops. So there's one who has tirelessly, tirelessly done everything she can to try and promote us. She's called Stacy. And one day, Stacy brought her a bitch. Her boyfriend, the guy who's riding with her. And from that day on, we find out. We found out who can lay bygones to one side, who can be a man and speak in the moment. And that man was Charlie Veach. Nothing to do with her. Nothing to do with us. It's no different, right, than you coming up with your mum or your dad. No different at all, because everyone is welcome on common land, you sick fuckers. Everyone. It's not up to me to say who can and can't come. It's not up to you to say it was your project or somebody else's project. So you can fucking come on as a saboteur and try and break us group up. We are small, yeah. We are small. We asked you to come and help us. What did you do? Bullshit around Facebook. Bullshit with your videos on YouTube. Oh, look at me, I'm making so much change here. What? I'm a corporate controlled system? What fucking difference is that going to make? How strong is the Dark City? Well, it's about 90 minutes. About 90 minutes. That's how strong it is. Because we can stretch out 90 minutes into the future. You lot can't. We've done that. We've created something different. 
So it's simple. Fuck off and leave us alone. Or we'll start. And believe you me, we have got hard, cold facts to prove who you really are. You lying, cheating, fucking scum that feed on the emotional energies of the young, the weak, and the ones that are just beginning to awaken. You wrap them up, you drag them into your media bullshit fucking stream for your own, your own personal agendas. That's right. I ain't fucking afraid of you. The ex-fucking Nazis, VMP. The fucking, what they call themselves? What's this group call themselves then? Lawful Rebellion? The lawful let's close our borders and throw out the nigger party. Hey, fucking I've heard you. I've been in your rooms with you, you dumb fucks. I've sat listening to you for long enough. You're trying to tell me that suddenly you find out it's the government. You're going to put down... I tell you, first thing you do is fucking apologise. That's what real men do. Oh, we'll go and pretend we're somebody else now. We're somebody else and we'll go and create a fiat currency and we can all be great for supporting the currency. I'm like, you know, when they ask them these questions, their asses fall out. Some good men there, though. Some fucking good men. I've met them. Real men who really saw it. And they turned around. They admitted they were wrong. They made a mistake. And to me, that's no wrong. That's us learning. So what's Dark City all about? Where do you want it to go? I'm telling you. I know when they're listening. I can see your fucking IPs. All gone quiet now. All gone quiet now, eh? We are Change Manchester. There's some good people in that room. I met them, but you were all there when I went there, when Shahid was down there, and we heard it. What's their final solution? Kill them. Why don't you just slap the Z-Kyle on the end and we'll have done with it, eh? Because that's how obvious you people are. Embrace it. Give up that. Give it up like we've had to do. Each step. We give it up. We move along. Because it ain't worth possessing. It ain't worth trying to control. Not when you see where you're coming from. Biggest mistake we had was asking for help. Biggest mistake. We thought, we really thought, we could roll this out. People want to take land. They want to do that. The people of this country want to be free of this tyranny. No, they don't. No, they don't. They want to come down, right? They want to fuck it up, and then they want to go back to the girlfriends, to the mums and dads, okay? They make out one fucking story, and they're living a completely different fucking life. Go and check them out. Go and have a look. Well, it's true. We have got members of political parties involved with our group. He's called Pax fucking Monday. Ring his show and ask him. He's there. He's on the Dark City. Hopefully he'll be in there today. But with witnesses today, I asked him a couple of questions. As a Green Party member. As a representative of the Green Party. I asked him. What do you think about the banks? Bunch of lying, feeding fuckers. Hmm. What do you think about Rick Simpson? All drugs should be made legal. Do you know why you're not being told that? Do you know why you're not being told that? Because their press, their press, doesn't think that that would do their party any good. Just run that by you again. You are not allowed to know what their official policy is because they think it would be detrimental to their party. That you might not vote for them. If they let you know that that's what their true policies are. Rick Simpson. Hell yes, was the answer. All the way to Westminster. They felt us coming. We reek no retribution, no vengeance. Now there's those of you who thought we were just another, another one of these shitty little 
radio stations that's been put together. Another psyops group. Keep your eye. Keep your eye on it. We've got a choice. A real choice. Not right or wrong. Not good or evil. Not black or white. Not them or us. I'm not talking about demands. I'm talking about choice. Real, free choice. Are you prepared to be the difference? Are you prepared to be I am change? Hear it. It's a psyops. We are change. No. I am. Are you prepared? Are you ready to give up everything for a different future? For a different today? You see, that's where I'm already living. Every moment of every breath. Every smell, every sight, every sound. And again, every breath. I see in my little chat window that some are saying, yeah, we're ready, and others, we're doing our best. And no one could ever, ever ask of anyone on seats like this dark city any more than they've already done. No one. You are not doing your best. You are beyond enlightenment. You're creating their future. We can't beat them because they don't know. We must open the gates once again to the dark city and welcome them all. Are we ready? As ready as we'll ever be. We're overworked. We're underfed. We're underpaid. And there's nothing can stop us. Nothing. Because we love our city. We love every member of it. And that's our armour. That's our strength. Our gatekeepers do not wield anger. We don't seek that retribution. But we agree. All are worthy. Without. Judgment. We agree to seek retribution is to become the very thing that we are trying to change. If you want us to become them, we'll sign up to Google Absence account. We'll buy a blog talk stream and we'll become just the same as the rest. We won't shake your little equilibrium. We'll let you live in your occult ideology. You'll love and light a world of good and evil, right and wrong. But if you think we're going to stand by and watch our children mutilated by your ways, you are mistaken. You are very mistaken. Because this child, this child, will no longer be abused by your system. We will show you that we have changed. We will prove irrefutably we have already freed the land. All land. 
Because when that few of us declared that land free, we were talking for every man, woman and child on earth, without judgment. The rich. Yeah. Even the fucking BBC paedophile ring. In many years to come, many years to come, I hope it's only a few, when you look back and we're discussing this, remember, remember that old paedophile ring none of us ever knew existed. The group of people that have sexualized your children and turned them into some manipulative toy. Remember that. You're paying for it. I get them people that stand there. Them people know my heart. Them can feel me speak right now. You know this shit don't come out of my head. Feel me, brothers and sisters. Don't wait. Take back your authority now. Leave your groups. Leave them. Abandon them. Abandon them all. Because every one of us makes a difference. Every moment of every day. Accept that truth for yourself before you even begin to start to tell others what that truth may be. Give up your possession. And then you may realise what it's like to be possessed. We've been fucked with on this planet for long enough Say I. Long enough. I'm only one. But I've had enough. I am only one. Throw your rocks at me. I dare you. Come on. I don't see them phone lines lighting up. I don't see anybody questioning it. You try it. You try it. And I will play this little game is. Let's see what you can put before us. Don't tell us you're going to do something and have excuses because you haven't done it. You're full of shit. I'll take a blind, a blind, broken man any day. Because they turn up. The men and women of the word. They speak their truth. Not to justify themselves. Because they can agree that all are welcome. That all are worthy. Because they want to live in demand. They want to live in judgment. Do something different, brothers and sisters. Don't point your finger at anyone else. Questions? BBC. Political pies. Illegal tipping. MPs under threat of death. Well, fear of death. Let me get this right. Fear of death. I'll do my best, because I know there's those who will misconstrue my words anyway. Because that's all you can do. Come on. Email me. In fact, on Skype us at Bob's Backyard. Ring us. 0161. 298. Zero, two nine eight. You don't need to ask for our forgiveness. We've already forgiven you. We didn't think you'd done anything wrong. We can see it. We can see how confused you've been. You can see that you were put into demand. We know this. Because we all were. You don't have to continue to do what everyone else does. You don't. 
You don't have to put your heads down. You don't have to be quiet. You can speak up. And if you feel a bit intimidated, you feel a bit scared, then welcome. Welcome to reality. Because you should do. That's right. You should feel a bit intimidated. Because you've been intimidated. Nothing wrong with you. You should feel a bit upset and a bit confused. Because we're upset. When we're confused. All of us are in this together. Let's do it with the living, eh? Let's not beat up dead people now. Because it's too late to do anything. Let's not sell a future our children will never, ever, ever receive. And you know it. You know that bullshit we're selling. You know it. Get a job, go to school, do the bad, blah, 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 blah. You'll get a job, you can have this. Can have what? Can have what? Factory slave worker. We know we're doing it. I ain't stopping it for my children or my grandchildren. No. I'm stopping it for me. Try and give an alternative. That's it. But I tell you what, we're not going to repeatedly make the same mistakes over and over again. Or no. Even those that have stole off us, even those that have thrown rocks at us, we will open our hearts. We will embrace them without judgment. Can you say the same? Can you embrace your enemy? With love. Without judgment. And accept. They're as fucked as you. The best. Up to you. Where do you want us to go with Dark City? It's your radio. It's not our radio. Sure radio. Where do you want us to go? Because we haven't got no wants. We haven't got no needs. We're happy to stay right where we are. Because I'm not going back into that demand. I'm not going to allow myself to be forced into demand. I'm going to come up with something different. I don't know what it is. Can't tell you. It's uncertainty. To many people, that's scary. To others, this is a great adventure we find ourselves on. We are going where we are going, most ambiguous. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not captain in this ship. I'm not plotting it for. I'm not going to be here forever. But you can. Lines are open. I'll take the question, and then that's it. Like my brother Jabba. Let's fucking stamp this bullshit out for once and for all. Let's stamp it out. Let's what do you want? Well, we're happy as we are. We'll just leave it as it is. We won't change anything. I can run it. I'll do it, if I have to, on my own. I will do it. Of course, we will not need move at the, the speed of the light that the true Ark City moves at quicker than any of us. Than any of us. But 
but it will move. Every breath. Every step. You get closer to yourself. Embrace it. Because we are that change. You see. All of us. Once you have been, I am the change. You can't just jump straight to the end base and say, look at me, I've won. Uh -uh. Be the change. And then there's no we the change. Be in occupation. Do not occupy. I suggest we already are. I suggest we've already took this land back. I suggest we did it two years ago. And I suggest we're waiting for the rest of you to wake up. So don't talk to me about your truth. That's just some bollocks fed from the corporate media stream to run us round again in fear. Mm, Bitcoins have crashed. Mm, mm, silver's gone down. Oh, there's some dead people in America. Oh, yeah, that's because they're white, eh? Let's put the white Westerners on television. We'll show you them mutilated. Yeah. And that, of course, will justify us murdering countless men, women and children on a daily basis. Don't bother. Don't bother. Don't even start. Justifying it. Putting it on the television. It happens every day. Every day. But that's alright. That's fine, isn't it? That's not your family. They're not your friends. They're not your loved ones. They're not members of your group. Your division within my family. Whether you like it or not, tough tears. You can't do nothing to stop me. And I'm one man. Because I will open my heart to love and share it with all that agree to open their heart and share it with all. I do believe we can take a break. And then I'll take any questions you can tell us. And the questions are about who I am. These accusations that have been made by certain individuals about my friends, about the people I've chosen to work with. Do it up front, you little shits. We're giving you a platform. Right, let's see. Let's hear your truth. Let's hear you try and weasel your way out of it and point the finger at others. Because on this dark city we speak for ourselves, not for no one else. Now come and speak for yourself. Tell us what it means to you. Not what it means to your mum or your dad. Your governor. Your government. Your mully or your priest. No. I'll give you all authority. I'll give it to you now, without judgment. I'll give you authority that you don't need authority any longer. We can make a change. Yes, we can. Providing you already have accepted, I am. And that is one hell of a lie. Everything any of us do here affects the rest of us. If you think you are not affected by others, hold your breath. I'll go to a funeral and tell me that the loss of life doesn't affect people. Go to a maternity ward. Go to a maternity ward and look at them children and babies. 
Tony, they don't give you effect. So you are not affected by your environment. Do yourself a favour. Do yourself a favour. Great big one. I'll finish your fucking self off, will you? Save them the trouble. Because you're worthless. You're not worth a penny. You're not worth the scrap. Nothing. And then take it all back. Give up the possession. Give up wealth. Give up worth. And give up your prejudice. And we'll give you a bit of music. And we're back. And follow that, Callie. Wow, Paul, that, that was that was really powerful. That was amazing. Um, and, and it really helps to, to have it brought into this kind of focus. Um, I just got a little bit self-conscious because I thought to myself, this is one for Terry and Sarah, I just thought to myself, oh, I've come on the radio with nothing to say <laughs> and, and that stopped me having, you know, what I've got to say. So that's just for you. But, but myself and Prajna came to this really out of the blue or Dark City came to us out of the blue, out of nowhere, um, commonly known as Dom, invited Prajna to be his first interviewee uh, on his very first show, and, and that was our introduction to the Dark City. And We met Paul and we met Robo, and I can't remember who else was in the chat at that point, but um, we gelled, we just gelled because, uh, because we are the change, I am the change Prajna is the change, Paul is the change, Robo is the change, every single one in this Skype call now, Susan, Sudama Dawn, uh, Terry Sarah, who else have we got, I'm not sure, but we are the change, we are actually living it, we are putting our energy into creating something better and I, I was saying in the chat, as, as Paul was talking, um, I've forgotten what I was just about to say. Um, but, but I w yeah, I was saying to MMM, I am change. And he said, prove it. I said, I don't need to prove it. I live it. I am it. That's it. The energy. The, where, what's, what proof is that my existence is? I am. And I live in the energy of love. I, I should say, actually, correction. I change my life, my world, my perspective, um, my reactions in the energy of love. It only ever happens in the energy of love. When I am in the energy of fear, and of course I'm not immune to fear, but when I'm in the energy of fear, then all, I, I create nothing. I create nothing but despair for myself and for the people around me. Nothing but worry for the people around me and myself. It is only in the energy of love that anything positive and worthwhile and and celebratory is discovered. Um. Anything either comes out of fear or love. Uh, anything that's created yeah. ever no, well, is only people... created from one of those two things: fear or love. And if <clears throat> if you do what you do out of love and you have to make sure it's love and not ego and not trying to acquire something or get something for yourself because that isn't love you know that's that's taking it's that's fear. taking even very persuasive it's fear yeah of course so everything is created out of fear or love if, if you do something out of love even if it's completely the wrong thing it will have positive results. If you do something out of fear, even if it's absolutely the most logical, sensible, rational thing, it will still uh, turn out to be horrifying. Um, so, so busy typing my warning into the Skype call. Uh, what, what I wanted to say was, um, 
I think a lot of people don't quite know what that means when we say things are only created in love or fear. I think for a lot of people that can be quite an abstract notion. Um, what, what it actually means is that when, when, as Prashna was just saying, um, the need to, to take, to, to, well, people think love is, is something that you get. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's something from the outside. And this actually takes us back to Terry and Sarah's show before. People see love ex- or, or think of love as something exterior, something that is not already within them, something to be drawn in. Now, that's the language that we've been told and taught and that has been repeated to it, to us over the years. We bring it in from the outside. Um, and uh, <laughs> you have to let me finish sometimes, babe, because... <clears throat> I wasn't interrupting, sorry. I know, I know. Uh, But anyway, uh, it reminded me of that story um, of Gangaji's that, that Sarah told, was it Sarah or, or Terry told? It was early? Terry, yeah. Yeah, uh, that, that s- story of finding that you've been sitting on, on this gold, on the treasure all along, and the treasure is that you are loved. The Beatles got it exactly wrong. So close, so close. But they got it exactly wrong. They said, all you need is love. That's the wrong understanding of what love is. All you are is love. And when you realize that, there's that pot of gold. There's enlightenment. And there is where everything changes. <laughs> I just read in the, in the chat, Dawn says, uh, Callie, say number one. I have to say number one. <laughs> Because uh, I'm not logged into the Skype chat for people who might not know what on earth we're going on about. Um, yeah, so so when you take something in from the outside, that is a fear of absence of that something from the outside. But when you look and see what you already are, then you see that you have all that you need. You are love. There is nothing that you need to bring into yourself from the outside. You need to let what is already in you shine out. That creates the change. That is, doesn't create the change. It is the change. It is. And that is the energy of love. When you're putting out and not taking in. Yeah. And Sarah. Crystal Crystal, Sarah. 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 Yeah, I just wanted to say about love as well. You know, a lot of people think, oh, love, that means you're not a very strong person. It, they see it as somebody who's really fluffy. And and really, it's the total opposite, really, isn't it? You know, the more love you have within you, the more you acknowledge your love within yourself, that it actually is means the stronger person you are and the more able and equipped to deal with anything that comes in front of you in your life and the less likely you are to have to deal with full-on horrible situations really and the more easily everything in your life flows and you feel great don't you you know you feel like things are slotting into place things are going your way and even when little things don't actually work out and don't actually like you drop something or knock something over or something you don't think anything of it whereas if you're in fear you you that start thinking everything's against you even your plate falling on the floor and smashing and you know it's 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 an amazing thing and it's not something to be shied away from it's not something to be scared of it's something that we all are and it's about time we all just took that time out and just acknowledged what is that saying namste or namste the division the divine in me salutes the divine in you i just think it's about time we all just did that really because we i am the change because i acknowledge that in 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 people i acknowledge that in myself and i acknowledge that in in others and that's what i want to do that's what i want to highlight to people and show people and show people the benefits and just show people how beautiful they actually are I uh, absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm just absolutely, yeah, everything that you've just said, Sarah. Yeah. Um, and- it, it equips us, what you just said, being in that energy of love equips us to deal with absolutely anything that life throws away. Um, 
and and I guess that's because when we're in the energy of our, of love, we, we're aware of the love that we have for ourselves, um, and that brings about compassion, and that brings about compassion for whoever's throwing whatever you know might be getting so thrown. And um, and Paul would like would like a word. I'd love to hear some. Yeah, yeah, Paul. yeah. Please, Paul. On, Paul. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to buy a new microphone. Well, it's not actually a new one, but eh, it seems to be working much better, doesn't it? I did get um, from uh, Hamish. Oh, we have a call. I just one second. Well, it's saying I can't seem to transfer any calls at the moment. <sighs> what is that doing? I can't answer this call. That's going to transfer me over. So I will endeavour to ring that number back in a few moments. If you can hear us now on the radio, just hang up the call and I'll try and bring you back in. For some reason. Ah, there we go. I am hosting this call, aren't I? Very strange to Skype this evening. So it's I'll... very strange this evening, Paul. Mm. Uh, you, you are hosting your and are uh, just doing all kinds of strange things, though, isn't it, Skype? Um, well, but we will find a way, Paul, and you'll probably... Um, yeah, excuse me, I was going to read this out. Um, okay. Yeah, I was going to ring this out. So, uh, what was it? Now, it came from Hamish. And I am endeavouring to pull these people in as quickly as I can. And there's a couple of personal points. Um, but here's what you can do to change the world right now. To change to a better ride. Take all the money we spend on weapons and defence each year and instead spend it on clothing and educating the poor of the world, which it would many times over. Not one human being excluded. We can explore space together, both inner and outer, forever in peace. Now that's a quote from Bill Hicks. Reminding me, Amy sent me that uh, as we were in the first part of the show. He's dead now, Bill. Can you imagine what he thinks when he looks down here? If there is that kind of thing going on. Anyway, we can. It's a choice. It's an alternative choice. That's still not been taken. It really hasn't. So I'm trying to bring these people into the calls that are asking for a text in here, but well, that one doesn't want to come in neither. <laughs> <laughs> it depends who you are, I think, at the moment. I'm just going to have a look at the, uh, the tools and see if I can sort that out. So, yeah, uh, it's, the, the whole idea of this is, is to kind of look, like, what's the issues these people have got with us, our little group? Huh? What are the issues? Huh? Speak up. Let's hear about them. Uh, and uh, it looks like well, I've no call forwarding on, so I've no idea. Maybe we should put another tune on and we'll stop and restart this call and see if we can get the numbers to transfer correctly. Um, I will try bringing the number back in who's just wrong because I, I'd appreciate somebody's on the on the telephone and people are trying to get into the, um, the station. Uh, so Chris and Nigel are both there, uh, Hamish and uh, and the call are ending with 79. Um, I will endeavour to get you uh, you into the call. So maybe um, if you could, um, Pradesna, just put um, something on. It'll only take a couple of seconds, and uh, we'll try restarting this call via Skype. They said we could not do it. They said it wasn't possible. But we did it. We created a free radio station to bring the people together and spread an alternative message from the mainstream. They tried to silence us. They tried to hack us. But we carried on. You cannot silence the truth. You cannot enslave freedom. You cannot stop a good idea. You cannot stop Dark City Radio. The crew is now bigger and stronger than ever before. We will not be kept off the airwaves. We will continue. This is not our radio. This is your radio. This is Dark City Radio. This is your Dark City 
This is your dark city. 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 This is your dark city radio. Right, we are. We're back, and we have solved the problem. Don't know what was happening there. We just had to uh, reintegrate and, and re-trigger, or, or I don't know. Stop. Start again. Often it works. Centered, stop, balance, and begin. Not continue to battle on when it's going wrong. <laughs> you know, we don't get that opportunity. Um, but one of the guys who was calling in uh, repeatedly, um, and it is working now. There you go. I can add people to the group. That's wonderful. Uh, I didn't know. Uh, he's now rung in on the telephone. Um, it's Nigel. Uh, welcome to the Dark City, Nigel. I don't know if you caught. Hi, the first Paul. Part. I don't know if you caught the first part of the show. Um, no, no. I've, I, unfortunately, I've had other distractions going on, and uh, you know, uh, I do apologise for that. I've just <laughs> uh, kind of tuned in uh, uh, recently. Um, uh, I remember that uh, you know you were saying there might be some interest in uh, Green Party uh, policy on drugs, and I, I just really called in to uh, you know um, give you a bit more information on that. Oh yeah, well please do, Nigel. I have actually mentioned it because we're trying to get you in the first part of the show, but this is yeah. brilliant. It all works, you know, okay. and, and it's working. So let me ask you the question, Nigel. Right? Because um, um, mainly for the viewers and everybody else, better to the. Um, would it be true, Nigel, that you're an active member of a political party, and that party would be the Green Party? Yeah, I'm, I, I am. Uh, I'm actually uh, um, male co-chair of the uh, Green Party Regional Council. Right, well, I don't know what that means, but it's, I know, it's, it sounds it's, uh, really... I, I, I'm, I'm a Green Party activist. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, so there was a couple of things. In one um, of my uh, guises, yes. Yeah, well, well, there's a couple of rocks being thrown, Nigel, and this is about stamping them, uh, stamping them out. We have lost a few people. Let me get these back in here. Um, it is about stamping them things out. So uh, you had a, um, uh, an interaction uh, in the early days with uh, Ashton Allotment Action. Um, well, yes, yeah, and uh, I'm uh, I'm still a part of Ashton Allotment Action. I like to think, you know, I'm hoping, you know, we will be uh, going for many years uh, to come. Um, so would you be right in me saying, Nigel? Uh, and yeah, I've been a bit well. leading here to get through it, you know. Um, but would I be right in saying that it was me and you that actually triggered that activation and, of events? That that once you actually found out the truth regarding the allotment site, yes. then that triggered you into immediate action. That's right, yes, yes, yes. So uh, uh, it was a con casual conversation between uh, uh, me and you, Paul, uh, at your house about uh, the issue of uh, allotments uh, in Ashton, and uh, this is an issue that I'd actually been, you know, campaigning on for many years, uh, because um, at one time there had been over 400 allotments in Ashton. Uh, that would be uh, up until the 1980s, and now there are none. And <laughs> so for many years. I'd been, um, you know, trying to lobby the council, uh, you know, through the usual measures, you know, uh, uh, um, letters, going to meetings and um, things like this. And, um, you know, I had never been told, you know, that the, uh, that, that the site on Ashton Moss had actually been developed as uh, an allotment site. It was a well-kept secret, Paul. And you, you actually uh, told me where it was. We went up there together, um, symbolically uh, 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 planted some uh, uh, potatoes, as I, I remember. And um, from then on, you know... Uh, Nigel, Nigel, let me stop you there, man, because we will, we will be questioned, Nigel. Uh, and we have to make sure we get the facts 100% right. It was actually three potatoes and two Jerusalem artichokes. Yeah, yeah, okay, thank you. You're, you're, <laughs> you're, you're one for the finer detail, <laughs> yes, yes. It well, you, you've got, we've got to be careful, you know, because, um, I mean, the whole point here, Nigel, is, is that uh, people are saying, or it has been assumed, or, or um, 
don't know what the quite right word is. People have put it there um, and tried to create a suspicion. Um, and that they think that we should, I suppose, not allow certain people onto common land. Um, I don't that, know how you can do that. Paul. No, neither do I, mate. I don't, do I, I don't think, I think that's like a, a no-brainer. It just can't happen, can it? Well, unfortunately, we find ourselves explaining this to people, Nigel, that, that it's not up to us. Uh, we have no authority. That, la that land is common land, and that means it belongs, yeah. if anybody, so, every... Even though, you know, we would like it to be just for commoners, I guess we'd even allow royalty, <laughs> you know, an aristocracy on oh, there, wouldn't we? You know, like the actual uh, uh, um, so-called owners of the land, you know, the Grey family, you know. Oh, you mean the, um, the, the members of the rich, the rich dead elite? Yes, See, that's it, the let, dead let, hand let, of the aristocracy. Let, let's try and progress through this, if we can, in, in, in some kind of order. Okay. Um, um, so, yeah, we, we've done this, we've had, we've, me and Nigel have gone up there, and we planted, at that time when we went up, we planted the symbolic uh, artichokes and potatoes, um, yes. just at the back of the garage, wasn't it, Nigel? Really? Yes, it, it was, and they're still growing, Paul. I've yes. actually spotted oh, them. It's a secret. We're not supposed to tell anyone. Oh, right, okay. That's a very sacred site now. That was the point where two men actually came together and, and triggered events that would change the perception and the way we live, um, yes. at least in Britain, um, forever. Yes. Uh, I have no doubt about that. I have to accept my role in that, although at the time, if I would have known that was the case, and I'm sure if you would have known the, this, that it would have rumbled all the way up to Westminster, Nigel, then we, we may have had, well, no, you wouldn't. No, I wouldn't, Bob. No, you I'm wouldn't, saying, Nigel. I can't I can't say that. Because Nigel is a, a, hardened, yes. a hardened street warrior, uh, and I am just a mere peasant in his, his midst. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we went to see uh, our MP, didn't we, Nigel? We did, Paul, yes, yes. And, again, I'm, I'm running through these facts as, as quickly as I can. Basically, that MP um, told us he wasn't, he didn't really know that this site existed, but he was, quite, he was very aware of an illegal tip that had been set yes. up right yes. at the side of it with hundreds of thousands of illegally tumped waste. When you asked him, Nigel why he, he, he wasn't speaking out, would I be right in saying he, he was in fear of his life? That's right. He, he did say words to that effect, Paul. He was frightened well, of the yes. people who were the council. Well, I quote, are you, uh, are you kidding? They will kill me. Yes. Yeah. Right. When we asked him. Yeah. Um, now, I already made the presumption before, Nigel, when you wasn't here, that he'd actually reached out to us at that point. Oh, yes, uh, indeed. I mean, he was quite fervent about the issues. He was actually, at one point, you know, really uh, um, with us. And, you know, um, as you, you say, you know, he was actually uh, um, voicing outrage at what had been, how this land had been misused by the people who um, managed it and uh, uh, owned it, um, the Gray family, it, their agents, Cordingleys, and their uh, contractors' cases, who you know clearly carried out unlawful tipping, unlicensed tipping, uh, on that uh, site, the, the alleged uh, golf course. Yes, it's definitely alleged, isn't it? There's no, yes. no, there is no doubt within this evidence. Nobody is disputing. Nobody is disputing that the entire thing was was put there unlawfully, illegally, whatever the right term is here, Nigel. They didn't, yes. they didn't get permission. No. Uh, but now, look, I'm not a big one for licenses and all this, that, and the other, right? You know, yeah. it makes me skin crawl. But look, some of the time, it's a good idea. Like, you know, if somebody's dumping shit in your backyard, exactly. you want to know what it is. Um, this is we exactly what's happened, yeah. We don't know, do we? That's no, the... we don't. No, no. Nobody. Does anybody know, Nigel? Uh, no, I, I, they probably don't. Right, because we've basically had an unlicensed tip running, and we're talking everything, skips, household rubbish, all the way up to, we know at least, Blue Billy and Asbestos was dumped yeah. on there. We know that, because we found That's right, because we found those things. Just, just three or four inches above the surface, yeah. where they've covered yeah. it all over with, with literally three or four inches of, of topsoil. Right. Well, of course, on the allotment site, they give us about 18 inches of topsoil. Yeah. That's the only difference. Yeah. Perfectly uh, good, agricultural land, destroyed, tipped on, 
Right. So we've got this. We, there's no doubt here. Our local council and their cohorts, their whoever they are, yeah. known, some known and some unknown, Nigel. Like I say, we do know about the fact that there are people in there that do want some action to take place. They really do, and they're in as much fear as the general public. In fact, probably in more fear, because they've, they've, they've known more yes. of the truth. They yeah. know more of the truth, and they yeah. do know how deep this runs. Yeah. So, you know, the, the, who empowered the Grey family? Where did they get their authority from? Uh, the, the royalty, Paul. That's right, wasn't it? Well, they, they, were actually, they were actually a branch of the royal family, of the... Um, the Tudors, you may remember um, Lady Jane Grey, who was actually uh, a, a queen for, I think it was probably about nine days. You know, she was actually um, a member of the Grey family, and she, she was, you know, a royal usurper. This was a, 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 um, a power struggle within the uh, royalty and the nobility between Catholics and Protestants at that time. You know, during the, uh, uh, the Tudor uh, uh, era. Uh, so, um, as you can see, they, they are, they're a part of the royalty. You know, they actually uh, came from, um, from that line. That's who empowered them. Though, I mean, ultimately, they empowered themselves by subduing us at, and the authority uh, you know, point of arms. With the, yes, yes, so they used, the, they used force yes. um, to the war, basically. The, the, you know, we don't need to go too much into it, but some religious bleeding argument that we've then they snatched the land in the purpose. Now, their authority, if I'm not mistaken, came from the church via the Vatican, didn't it? I th I think it, it it would have done, yeah, uh, it would have done definitely. Well, yeah. We can let if we're uncertain, we'll let That's... others go down that rabbit hole for us, Nigel, because we've done our bit, mate. But yeah, and the point I'm trying to get to here is, yeah. right in the middle of the same council offices stands a statue of one of the Knights of Malta. Yes, yes, um, uh, that would be. Uh, was it Ralph Asherton? Yeah, the Black Knight. The Black Knight, yes. Yes, that's him. The real Black Knight. Yeah, that's right. Right yeah. here. Ashton Underline, council offices, one of the most tyrannic men, not with this area, has ever known. That's right, yeah. When the, when the, just, let me, just let me get jump to the point for you, Nigel. Could you Go tell on. us um, who chose the Black Knight as a representation of the people of Ashton? Well, well that, that would be uh, Tameside Council. The actual council. Sorry, the, when you say the representation, well, was, this was this was chose to put inside the brand new Arcadia as a. As a oh yeah, sorry, that would be well. It's a good question. I th I think it's probably Tameside Council. They still celebrate the Black Knight to this day. You know, uh, um, the Black when they have the the uh, pageants, the Black Knights uh, pageants, and uh, you will actually uh, have. Um, a council employee wandering around in uh, a suit of armour, you know, uh, pretending to be uh, the Black Knight, you know, and... Um, right, so we have this, this celebration. Goes around waving his sword at people and saying things like, have at ye varlet, you know, <laughs> and threatening them with his sword. Anyone else would get arrested, of course. You know, if you had even a pen knife. But yeah, we're, we're thinking of actually um, um, the masses actually rising up on the next up Black Knight pageant, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll see how good his threats and his armour. A peasant's uprising. Yeah, yeah, because obviously we can help. We, we've got the help from the Chinese now in, 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 the, um, in the, the price of megaphones. So yeah. yeah we've, we've, got, we've got sound weapons, I think, we could use against them now. Yeah. Um, but anyway, um, so we've got the Black Knight pageant. Um, we've got the representation of the Black Knight, um, we've got the Grey family, uh, yeah. and we've got lying, cheating, thieving thugs who are threatening their own people. I mean, these are people, council employees, MPs, who are under the same threats. Yeah. Yes, so this, and we're not trying to say that these people who work for the council are all as guilty, but what you are saying is, um, without any doubt, um, that there is an element within inside the council who are either totally ignorant beyond all imagination 
uh, or they are quite well aware of what they're doing. Yeah, Dr. definitely. Dubas. There is a, there is a mafia within there that have a lot of uh, secrets and uh, well, I you don't know. call them the mafia, Nigel. All right. I think um, you know, I'm I mean, trying to think of a simile, really, no, Paul. Let's for some... work through it. Let's take it a, a stage at a time. So, okay. um, we've got, uh, like I say, we've got this guy, this black knight, um, who you know is is the enforcer um, in his time, uh, tyrannic. Now, we have a black knight pageant. Of course. Yeah. Still right, now, we're not, isn't it is an organisation that runs the Black Knight pageant called the Round Table? Right, yes, the, uh, the Round Table, yes. Yes, and they, are, they do all sorts of work by bringing Santa Claus round. Yes. Um, and, and, and all these stuff. Right, now, yeah. but, now, would I be wrong? I mean, please, if anybody else is listening out there and they know more about this than myself, but please... You know, get in touch. Let, let us know. You know, have a look. Don't don't take what myself and Nigel are taking as the truth. Please do this research. You know, go and have a look. It's there. You can see it. Um. So, the round table. Now, the round table. If my memory, if my information is correct, are actually the charitable group attached to the Masons. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right. So. So this group of people that appear to be in the council and believe you me I don't do the conspiracy theory um, support the Black Knight um, the Black Knight's pageant is supported by a group of masons and we've got a group of people with inside the council that set up an illegal tip and are threatening all the members of the council uh, yes yes uh, I mean all, all I can say Paul is that you know Tameside Council does have a a history of corruption. I, I, I myself have exposed, um, you know, a lot of corruption within uh, Tameside Council, and I've been threatened, you know, like others. You know, this is mm -hmm. the way that they operate. I have personal experience of that, and um, well, uh, you, you know, they they bribe people, and then others who can't be bribed, they threaten. So, that, would you would it be right, say, Nigel? Um, yes. Would it be right for me to say that their lying, cheating ways have actually been the downfall? The reason why we were able to take that land without any force, without anything at all, is the last thing they want is people to know what's happening there. It's that the BBC came along and we told them all about this. We told them about the illegal tip. We showed them about how they changed their information on the website, how they tried to cover it up and bury it. Um, we even offered them the audio tapes of the actual... MP telling us he was in fear of his life. Yes, yes. And they chose not to publish any of it. That's Am I right? right. Yeah. They chose to cover this story, which was about this yeah. the the A team of guerrilla gardeners. We'd never called ourselves guerrilla gardeners. We'd never called ourselves the A team. We'd use the initials A A A because we thought it was funny because it looked like Alf, uh, Alcoholics Anonymous Association or something at the time. Ashton allotment action. Yeah. Um, that was it. <sighs> then we had other groups that have approached us. Um, they also said they were going to highlight this. They were going to bring it to the forefront. Yeah. Um, Radio, BBC Radio Manchester. Uh, yeah. The BBC uh, Postcode Lottery. And the One Show. Uh, commonly known as Dom. Uh, let me see who else we can throw in there who, who, who vowed to bring this to the forefront. Uh, who else was there? Can we? Oh, we are Change Magic Manchester, uh, Critical yeah. Mass Radio. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can, can you can you name any others? I mean, I mean, please contact us. We have got a list of all these people, and we do actually know that they have actually done this on multiples of times with multiple groups. We are not the first group this has happened to. I think we're the first group they didn't tear apart, didn't create. A subversive between any of these groups of people that drive together. It happened within the Occupy movement, it's happened within um, Anon movement, uh, people try and infiltrate into the movement uh, and then tear them apart from the inside. They yeah, I, I think with the, with the Occupy movement, just to uh, come in on that really, I, I think that we are all Occupy, so we are Occupy to some extent. We have Occupied. G the Ashton allotment action is a part of the Occupy. Yeah, we have movement. occupied. That's right, and we continue to, and no, we no, will. Can I just get this a little bit? 
another point here, you know, I know we do, and I know we still have for over two years. No, or are we approaching two years? Yeah. I know it is to two years for me and you. It'll be two it? years uh, well, in next week. Yeah, well, it is for me and you, I mean, yeah. but, but, but for the rest of the people that came, and you know, we made it public then, because we'd already done that. Like I say, we'd already set that land free for the people of England. Yeah. Um, the land free. Let me get that right. Let me get the wording right. We set the land free for the people of England. Yes. And uh, we are now in full occupation of that land. Yes. Occupation worked, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Occupied. You were successful. You were successful. All them people out there and the members of Occupy who thought you weren't successful at the same time where you were fighting the head of the beast. Yeah. We planted the seed. Okay? Potatoes and artichokes. You get my point? Yes. Occupy was successful and they have lied to us. We caught them stealing and cheating. Of course, this wasn't outside a church or a bank or a government office. This was along the side of the M60 motorway, Junction 23, in Ashton Underline. There is no buildings. It's open space. Mm -hmm. But they treat that pile of shit they've built in the middle of our town like their cathedral. And buried in that hill, just the same as they've buried their lies in the past and their intellectual theft of land, they've stolen off us intellectually long enough. Well, I'm a dumb northerner, me, and I'm proud of it. I left school with a reading age of 11 year old. I'm a thicky. That's who I am. No, no intelligent bloke here. But I've had my eyes open. And I tell you what opened my eyes. Lying, cheating, frauding fucking bastards. <laughs> I thank you all. I thank you all. I really do. I really do. I mean, without you, there would be no Dark City. There would be no alternative media stream they would be no fledgling but remember that's what we are we are a fledgling station that's what we are yeah we've cracked the egg mm. the little bird's broken out he's looking after it does but this, this little baby our little station, our little creation, it will not be ruled by tyranny. It will not have people tell us this or that, and that's the truth. Fuck off with your demands. We're on to you. We've got you. And there ain't now you can do. Except support us. That's all you can do. We've caught you. Tameside Council right all the way up that little yellow brick road to Westminster. And Nigel is on the line telling us this right now. They know. And what are they doing? What are they doing? What are the other political parties doing? What are they, all the other ones doing? They know. They know what's happening here. And they've chosen to do nothing. If you're sat there, you're listening to this. You're just the same. Do something. Do something. For your own sakes. Begin. Don't wait. Don't wait for that authority. And if you do, if you are, you have authority now not to need any authority. I give you authority not to judge yourselves any longer because now you don't need of judgment. But don't look, don't look to those any longer, those that have stepped out to try and make a difference and focus your negative bullshit energy on them. Watch them turn into babbling children that can't even put two sentences together properly and then tell them. Tell them, you then say that these people have turned on you. You fucking turn. You turn on every single person, every individual, man, woman and child that speaks out 
for something that's honourable, truth and just, what do you do? I can't do it because, 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 because bullshit. You don't want to join us? Fuck off. Simple as that. Can't make it any plainer. Fuck off. Don't come with your bullshit. Don't fucking come with your, oh, we've got this and we don't need your shit. We don't. Fuck's sake, we've got the cure for cancer. We've took back land. We can integrate. We can in, 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 internet. We can integrate net. What does that mean? Bollocks. We can network. We can network. We've got the internet. Look at us. This is to a 21st century. We've done it. We're here. We've arrived. And what have we got left? A tiny percentage of this we choose, choose to focus our energies on and bitch about repeatedly over and over again. Oh, well, the government didn't do it. Oh, there's going to be a crash. Oh, the Lithuanians have built oranges. What the fuck? It's rubbish. Gobbledygook bollocks. Fear factory over and over again. Oh, oh and then we've got the truthers, haven't we? Then the truthers who take the fucking media stream and start making up other fucking shit. Oh, there's a bomb gone off. Oh, it's because they're trying to cover up a crash in the stock market. Dickhead. Get your own fucking group. Go on, go and fucking get your own little groups and post your shit at yourself. Read what you're putting. Have a look at it. Have a look at the comments a day or two later when you've already took the media stream and focused on it and empowered it and delivered it to people who are desperately trying to fucking make a difference. And then tell us it isn't about subliminal imagery. Fucking you have a go. Fucking bullshit merchants. All of you. We present a viable alternative. What do you tell us? Oh, come and join us. What? Sucking Satan's cock? Who the fuck do you think we are? Some fucking kids who've just turned up off the block. Ooh, we are going to have a movement and we're going to camp out on the street. Fuck them. This is our land. We took it over two years ago. Don't belong to me and Nigel, but we fucking took it. And immediately, we set it free. Because it's not ours. We are not in charge. Neither are you. That's what community is about. Nobody's better. Nobody's worse. There is no fucking right or wrong. The only wrong there is here, the only fucking sin for you religious fanatics, is not learning your mistake. It's repeating it over and over again. We have sinned. I have sinned. Because I didn't learn. Over and over again. One group after another. You know what I've learned? I'll tell you what I've learned. Do it yourself. Because all we did, me and Nigel, is let them in and when we fucking step back, right, brother? And they revealed themselves. They fucking showed us their worth and their value. Blah, 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 blah. Well, we can fucking talk as well. But you know the difference between me and that lad who's come on and rung us today? He's making a difference. He's made a difference. He's already been out there and uncovered their bullshit years ago. Fucking coming along and throwing rocks at my queue. You fucking strike one of us. Expect us all. Expect us all at your door. Every one of us. Excluding none. Because I tell you what. If my messiah, fucking Bill X, is looking down on me right now. You'd be smiling. We're not there. Hey, we're not there. But come on. Do we want to focus this on one another forever? My man Amish, it's bang on there. It's a ride. What they don't know is, it's a ride. It's just a ride. Try it. Bob's backyard, forward slash, it's a ride. It's been there all along. Waiting, waiting to link these groups together. Me and Robo made a mistake. 
we made an issue. We made a, we made a mistake. Bob's backyard failed. Because you fucking lot of fucking bastards can't work together. You can't do it. You can do it. You can't. All you go around is breaking up shit, pulling it apart every fucking time a group tries to get together. What? They make a few mistakes. What do you want to do? Beat them because they made a fucking few mistakes. Look at the good they did. Just using Occupy alone, their movement. Do you think we could have done what they did if they weren't fucking keeping them amused? We fucking struck everywhere at once. 21st century. 21st century. And it's a ride and you can fucking change it whenever you want. Whenever you want to. Not because you need to. You don't need to. You can sit back in your armchair, right? Put your fucking feet up and watch the death fucking channel all day if you want. If you want to do that, that's fine. You carry on. You don't have to. Because we have. We've already begun without you. We won't leave you behind. We won't. We'll wait for you. Because that's what we do. We're family. One family. One fucking planet. Divided by a multitude of governments. Religions. You want that? And shut your fucking mouth and stop complaining. Enjoy it. I'm telling you. And if you've never experienced that bullshit life, stop what you're doing and get involved in it straight away. Because your days are numbered. See, we're not coming. We're not anonymous. We're not. We're not Occupy. We're not Ashton Allotment Action. We're not We Are Change. We're not the truth movement. We're not Info Wars. We're not David Icke. We're not Charlie Veach. We're not. We're Dark City. And you are what you say you are within these walls. You are what you speak. Energy goes where it's focused. And your affirmations are your truth. You think you can speak of others. But your words are always about you. Again. Look no further than the mirror. And look into your eyes. Forgive yourself. And tell yourself you're worthy. Tell yourself without judgment. All are worthy of love. Don't look at your wife or your children, your husband, your brothers and sisters. Look into the mirror. Because only you can really tell yourself that. You're worthy of your love. Feel it, fill your heart. You don't know where your heart is. It's not that thing to one side. You'll feel it right in the middle of your chest. Wait till you get there before you start. Because if you don't get there first, your mind's never going to be free to change. Well, your consciousness is up there rattling around, fucking trying to solve the problems. Or you're in fear. Or you're coerced. Or you've been contracted with. Then, you're not free. You can't change. That love is not for anyone else. When you feel that love, then channel towards your mind. And it will change you forever. Instantly. Let your ride begin. 
Let this be the greatest adventure. The best love story. The greatest romance. That has ever been. They will not. Be writing of this. Because we are living it. You don't find this book in history. You won't. You'll find it. In your own heart. You won't find it in the library. Or on the internet. Or on the television. Or in a church. Or even in your own home. It's been there all along. We are one. We are united. Don't let your mind tell you anything else. When one of us hurts, we all hurt. Hmm. Well, there is one of you out there with hatred in your mind. The resentment. Fear. Then we've got work to do. All of us. That's not their problem. It's not your problem. The same as this land beneath every one of us, our feet. Beneath every one of our feet, right now. It's ours, our problem, our planet, our land, our air, all of it, excluding none. You can't possess it to set it free. You can't create a group to bring forth unity. Our groups have been smashed. We have been scattered. We are everywhere. Everywhere. You can't join us. You can't become part of us. Because you already are. You can't balance yourself. Because you already are. You can't be tomorrow. Because you be today. Human, human doings. So, I'm about done here. It's your radio. Don't remember it. Be it. Be it. Forget I. Forget we. And live the unity. Don't try and create it. Because he's already here. And he's been here. All along. You can do this whenever you like. It's not a demand. It's a choice. Take it whenever you want. Live the lie. Live in deceit. Live amongst them. That's okay. We'll always be here. We'll always be here. And why will we always be here? Because we are not one. We are many. And we're everywhere. We go under the name for now. Of the Dark City crew. We're coming. We're coming to your town. We're coming to your village. We're coming to your city. If we're not there already. And you haven't found us then it's you 
That's why you can't find us. Because you're the one. It's you. That's right. You're a representation of the dark city. And we're everywhere. Beyond where those fear to tread. They said we Beyond fear. Beyond it. You can join in whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. This was the Dark City. They said We're done. we could not do it. They said it wasn't possible. But we did it. We created a free radio station to bring the people together and spread an alternative message from the mainstream. They tried to silence us. They tried to hack us. But we carried on. You cannot silence the truth. You cannot enslave freedom. You cannot stop a good idea. You cannot stop Dark City Radio. The crew is now bigger and stronger than ever before. We will not be kept off the airwaves. We will continue. This is not our radio. This is your radio. This is Dark City Radio. This is your Dark City. 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 This is your Dark City Radio.